Okay, we're live still on RD UK TV. I'm joined by Jack Attack of the London Rock and Rollers All-Star Team. Okay, first of all, Jack, how do you feel about the game today? Was that a hard game for you guys to play? It was a really hard game, yeah, but very fun. <laughs> Obviously, you'd met CCR before at the Tattoo Freeze Festival where you walked away as victors. So did you pretty much assume they were going to be coming in all guns blazing today? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough game today. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you got the benefit of a home crowd as well. A lot of supporters for LRR behind you as well. And obviously, your intra game first as well. How is the intra league season panning out for LRR at the moment? Um, not bad. We've had, um, I think... We've had two games this season. Um, obviously, as you saw today, Neanderthals came away the winners today, which was unexpected, but I'm very pleased about that, because that's my team. <laughs> when is your intra league final taking place? Um, that will probably be um, in December. Okay, so it's still quite a while to go before we know which two teams will be playing against each other there. Yeah. Okay, excellent stuff. Um, who do you have coming up next to play against in London? In London, um, our next game is going to be another intra league. It's going to be uh, Neanderthals versus the Goldie Looking Chain Gang. Um, and then, then after that, I think we're playing Stuttgart home in September. Yeah, obviously Stuttgart as well, one of the exceptionally sort of like uh, skilled German teams. And you guys, you seem to be one of the very first teams in the UK that actually really sort of branched out and travelled to um, sort of mainland Europe a lot quicker than the majority of the other UK leagues have. You have a, a very sort of strong relationship with Stuttgart and you've probably played each other about what, five or six times now? Yeah, they were the first team we ever played, so we've got like a bit of a bond with those. They're like our sister league, if you like, so we like to play them at least once a year. It's good fun. Okay, so if you could choose any other team, and we'll make this worldwide at the moment to give you plenty of choice, who would you guys like to uh, step up against next time? Oh, wow. <laughs> She's telling me it's like Glasgow. <laughs> They're playing GRG, yeah. Okay, we'll have to see the recent tournament as well, sort of like a, a lot of fans of Montreal in the house now. Oh, I've been given a patch, thank you. She just wants to get on camera. Would you guys be interested in obviously going and have any of your girls tried out for Team England? Um, yeah, a few of our girls have tried out. Um, I'm trying out this month, so hopefully I'll make that team. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing a few more um, overseas teams. Yeah, obviously the Roller Derby World Cup, the very first one taking place in December in Canada. And um, sort of like various coaches from around the UK are involved in that. Barry Fight from CCR, Ballistic Whistle from the LRG and Rolling Stoner from Royal Windsor. So obviously you've got the, the pretty much the cream of the crop for UK coaches there. So hopefully England will do us proud. And it'd be nice to see you and yourselves and a couple of the other guys at the LRR in the Union Jack Sox representing. Good stuff. Okay, well, thank you very much for that, and I hope you had a good game today. And I'm sure you're looking forward to uh, chilling out at the after party. Beer o'clock. Thank you very much. Okay, we'd like to thank you once again for checking out RDUK.TV. Make sure you tune in every time for the, uh, the very best in broadcasted uh, roller derby games in the UK. I've been Ros Voice. Little Joker's somewhere else now. I don't know where he is. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.